A couple months ago, QHY reached out to me and asked if I wanted to try out their Polemaster electronic polar alignment tool. I of course said yes, and they actually just sent me one as a gift on the condition that I would give a fair and honest review. So in this video, let's take a look at the QHY Polemaster, how it works, and compare it to some other stuff. Welcome to Alaskan Astro. Polemaster itself is a little camera with a built-in lens that comes pre-focused from the factory. It attaches to the end of your RA axis with one of many available adapters for your specific mount. And it just gives a nice wide view of the area around the celestial pole to help you with polar alignment. So once it's attached and connected to your computer, the Polemaster completely replaces your polar scope because, well, for one, it blocks the view through the mount. Electronic polar alignment makes even more sense the further north you live, because trying to look through this thing when you're standing in two feet of snow is not the most fun I've ever had. Now that we've talked about the hardware, let's talk about software. The Polemaster software is really easy and intuitive to go through. It basically gives you a bunch of prompts and you just click through them and it tells you exactly what you need to do at every step of the way. During your first calibration, the Polemaster software is going to prompt you to rotate your mount around a couple times as it's trying to figure out exactly where along the axis the camera is pointed. But the good news is, as long as you keep this thing attached, you only have to do that once. I'm going to walk through what it actually looks like to use the Pole Master on a typical night because this is actually a typical night and I'm using the Pole Master. So first you connect and you find this screen. You just kind of adjust these settings until you see um, the stars nice and clearly. And then it basically just walks you through everything you need to do. Uh, so yes, now we can see stuff. Double click Polaris. We're going to double click it. Now we drag this slider until it matches the template that looked pretty close and then we find adjust by clicking it that's good enough we hit success now this is the part where you save a bunch of time would you like to use the axis center i'm going to say yes because i haven't taken mine off so that saved us a ton of time now we just click on polaris again and the template still matches because nothing's happened um, so we say yes and now this is actually pretty much it. I would just hop outside now and adjust the altitude and azimuth bolts until Polaris moves uh, into this. So this is where I would go grab my tablet, connect to my little mini PC out there, and just watch the screen as I'm adjusting things. So that was really fast when everything is already set up. That's where this is a good system when you don't have to completely disassemble everything, when you can keep the camera physically attached to the mount. So I'm gonna go run outside and take care of this. All right, so this is the point where we actually start making the physical adjustments to the mount to polar align. So I'm hopped back here in the app and I'm just going to make these adjustments until we get Polaris right in that circle. And see, this is great with that video feed. You can see exactly how things are moving right as they happen. I really like that. Okay, that's the wrong way. So we're gonna tell it that we're finished. And then it asks us to double click on Polaris again. We can do that, adjust the template. Okay, tell it we are success. And then it starts monitoring this and we just do this really fine adjustment to get it perfectly polar aligned. And again, if you're guiding, it really doesn't need to be this perfect. Okay, that is plenty good for me. And we're finished. That's all there is to it. Just lock everything down and head back inside and start shooting. Now 
Now what I'm about to do here may be the perfect combination. I'm going to use the Polemaster hardware with the SharpCap software and see how that works out. Ooh, look, a satellite. That's pretty neat. Okay, so we're connected to the Polemaster camera. I've got the settings set up so that it's working well. Now let's see what happens when we go to SharpCap Polar Line. Oh, it's working! <laughs> All right, let's see this. So we're gonna hit next and we're going to rotate the mount. That's the wrong way. We're going to rotate the mount. So again, I already lined this up with the pole master, so this is more just verifying than actually setting up for pole alignment. Okay. Oh, <laughs> that's pretty sweet. It worked perfectly. Hmm. I will let you know my opinion. Basically what I've found in doing some testing going back and forth between them is that both SharpCap and the Pole Master are very accurate and consistent in the polar alignment, which is really good to know. Without going into too much detail, I want to talk about some differences between these options. SharpCap uses your existing guide scope and camera, or even your main imaging setup, and because of this, sometimes it can be a little difficult to find stars, especially if they're a really long focal length. You have to rotate your mount every time you polar align, and it uses plate solving to identify the stars. Uh, it's also part of a subscription that ends up costing about $13 a year. Pole Master is a standalone piece of equipment. I've never had any trouble finding stars with it, and you only have to rotate the mount if you're recalibrating. It does rely on you manually clicking on stars to identify them, and it's a lot pricier at $300, including the adapter for your mount. Your mount's built-in polar scope uses itself. It does require a little bit of understanding of how to properly use it and interpret it, and you do need to make sure that it's properly aligned within the mount, but if you use it correctly, it's plenty accurate, even for imaging. So what's my take on the Pole Master? Well, I think it's a great little piece of hardware. It's fast, convenient, and most importantly, it's consistent and accurate. However, it still falls into my category of luxury items. While it does a great job, there are other alternatives that take advantage of gear you already have for a lot less, like SharpCap Pro or just using your built-in polar scope. Now where the Pole Master really excels is its very fast lens and camera combination and that really wide field of view. Never have I plunked my mount down, pointed reasonably north, and had to search around to find Polaris. It's always in the field of view, and that's super nice, especially if you've ever struggled using SharpCap Pro or something to even just get in the region where it wants to start plate solving. This always finds it. Now one area I'd like to see QHY make some improvements is in the software. The amount of clicking that you have to do to keep selecting the same stars over and over is kind of annoying. Now if they could just implement some plate solving in that little polar region, it would make it so you could pretty much plop this thing down and as soon as it found those stars, it would tell you how to start adjusting things for polar alignment. Now right now, that's why I think the best combination is actually the Pole Master hardware for that fast wide view with the SharpCat Pro software. Now I asked QHY about this and their response to me was, Hi Aaron, actually, we have plans for next Pole Master. New changes will be made, dot dot dot. Between that interesting nugget and a new polar alignment tool in Nina called T-Papa that I'm really excited to try out this fall, be sure to destroy that notification bell and eviscerate that subscribe button. I'm really excited to share what I learned with you. With that all being said, the price tag doesn't scare you off. The QHY Pole Master is a great little piece of hardware that can make your night of astrophotography that much more fun and enjoyable. Just remember to wear a coat when you're polar aligning because it gets cold out there even if you don't need to lay down in the snow to do it anymore.